<laughs> felt like she was wearing a clown nose coming in like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> so, uh, we were trying to do this thing of like, he's going to pop in. It didn't work out. There's cats, there's hamsters, there's pigs, there's dogs yeah. in this house. It's loud. <laughs> so, today we're going to do a what's for lunch. Nate is hungry. I'm starving and I have to go to work in like an hour and 15 minutes-ish. So, I need to eat. Gotta eat. And we are actually gonna make something super, super simple. There's really no cooking to it. It's more of chopping. And actually, I don't even have to really do that because I already pre-bought most of it. We cheated. <laughs> and actually, I have to say though, this is gonna be a little different than uh, High Carb Hannah's salad, but is definitely inspired by her, one of her recent ones she did a couple weeks ago, like a Thai peanut, but it wasn't peanut, it was like almond, um, inspired. Mm -hmm. Uh, salad and it was so good we've had it twice well I had it once and then made it again <laughs> and yeah it's really 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 good so I'm actually gonna do it a little bit different this time though too the best part was when she had it the second time and cheated on me she she came home and she's like oh I made it so much better than the first time I was like thanks <laughs> I will link below uh, High Carb Hannah's original recipe because I think it is great, although hers does actually call for a few ingredients I'm not even using, and one of those being cilantro. It's just not my thing. He likes cilantro. Most people like cilantro, but thumbs up for the soap crew who thinks it tastes like soap. It tastes like soap. It, it, it tastes, tastes like, like soap. soap. It's delicious. So, and we're actually going to add some broccoli slaw into this too. Yeah. I get excited for these, <laughs> he man. He really does. I do. I was like, do you want to come film me? Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to make this really, really good dressing on top. Mm -hmm. that it really makes the whole thing. It really does. The base of this dressing is almond butter. And it's so funny because we used to hate almond butter. It was not our thing. <laughs> and I was like, so when I made this, he's like, I don't know. And we <laughs> ate the entire thing. It's so, so good. So even if you think you don't like almond butter, this is a whole other flavor when it's all done. Yeah. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the base of this salad is shredded cabbage. Now you want to do a blend of both purple and both green. You can use Napa. You can use whatever it is you have. I've done it both ways now. And High Carb Hannah's calls for Napa cabbage. And we really like that, but again, either way, it still tasted good just with this. So I'm using this blend from Trader Joe's, and it also has carrots in it. I'm going to change it up this time. This will be new for us too and add some of this broccoli slaw to it. And then I have half of a uh, cabbage left from last time so I'm going to actually chop some of this up and throw it in there too. And then we are also going to do the juice of two limes. You take this little doohickey and you <laughs> squeeze the... I like her. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I like the technical terms. <laughs> yeah. And just get a good grip and. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no? No good? Okay. Right. Oh, maturity. <laughs> I have none. I have none. <laughs> I'm also going to add a bunch of green onion to it just because I love it. Do as much or as little as you like. And then I'm also going to add some slivered almonds to this and then some sunflower seeds. All right, and now for the shit show, I mean the Nate show. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make the dressing now and I'm going to let Nate handle this one. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> so you got to help me out. <laughs> some almond butter, maybe like four tablespoons would be good. That's going to be sticky. <laughs> Scraper. Jesus. What? I don't measure either, but that's really... You said four tablespoons. I said tablespoons. four tablespoons. You said four tablespoons. That was literally like one and a half. <laughs> you told me like a crap. Yeah, a little more than that. You told me like literally a metric shat ton of almond butter. <laughs> okay, you can't be mad at me for getting that much. Uh, this is how it really goes down in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm giving you guys And you want to know what taste. else goes down in the kitchen? Oh, Maybe a tablespoon of tamari might go in nicely with that. I gotta make the sound effects for how it comes out. So we're gonna put in some garlic powder. Just to, this one takes a spricket. A spricket. 
<laughs> and the other one takes a dashy do. <laughs> no? I'll put the uh, recipe in the description box. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's that's a that's a technique. <laughs> well, it's got crumbies in it. I don't want it all crumby. <laughs> maybe in some water, like a couple tablespoons of water, thin that out, and maybe a little bit of maple syrup to give it some sweetness. Don't get overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that noise is everything. And then you're gonna whisk. And whisk. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Well, I think that's just what we're trying to work it at, right? It's trying to get like the consistency that's gonna coat. Coat. I thought it would be good too, just to go with the theme, some sesame seeds. This looks good just like this. <laughs> yeah. And what I'm gonna do is start tossing this dish. You're a dish. So let's pour in all of our dressing. Yes. I'm gonna take my super cute little top. He hates them. <laughs> my God. He really does. Just get two forks. No. Miss minimalist. I am, guys. I'm working on it. She's trying to minimalize, but she's removing things just to replace them. But she thinks it's minimal. It it is. It's not. <laughs> This looks good. It does look good. <laughs> it does, it's so good. I feel like cabbage is really filling too. Come on, right? And just keep mixing it because sometimes you might feel like at first that it wasn't enough dressing. It, it, it is, it really will coat it all. Um, you just gotta kinda keep messing with it. When oh, your cabbage is wet, so it kinda thins it Thank anyways. you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's add some avocado on top. Do it, just make it all cute. <laughs> I get that thumbnail she, though. She says stuff like that, and I'm just like, <laughs> He does. It funny. looks good, and she's like, She's like, No, the shadowing of this avocado piece is taking away from the purple in the cabbage. I'm like, Are you high? Like, what is going on? Yeah. Oh, that's a much better. That's a much better. It's a better energy. I gotta say, I've been sleeping better since my bed has been cleaned out underneath. <laughs> we'll talk about that when we eat. <laughs> yes, gotta get the avocado. It's so yummy, guys. Nate already stole the bite. Multiple. Um, I'm also gonna try this Zevia. Zevia, how do you say it? I don't Zevia, even know. Zevia. Zevia, and it's the Dr. Zevia, like Dr. Pepper. And I just hauled this recently. We have tried the Dr. Pepper, or the root beer one, and a lot of you said you love these too. Um, but one of you did say you didn't like the Dr. Zevia one, like the Dr. Pepper. So we're going to see here. Kind of smells like it. It does. Mm-hmm. It's not bad, but it's not Dr. Pepper. It's not? Okay. It's different. It's not Dr. Pepper, but... Someone did say that they didn't... Because the root beer one, the root beer one's like good. dead on. Yeah. Like the root beer is awesome. It is good. I like it better than a lot of regular mm -hmm. root beers out there. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. And it's one of those two, actually, if it sits for a little while, mm -hmm. it's better too because it'll like absorb the dressing even more, but it's still good. Mm hmm. Yeah, it doesn't taste like Dr. Pepper really. It's yeah. good, but. Right, it's not I Dr. Pepper, but it, it's not bad. Yeah, wouldn't call that um, a dupe for it. But yeah, like I was saying. <laughs> So last week I told you guys that I'm like on this pick right now, I'm decluttering. I don't even remember who I was watching. I really don't even remember. <laughs> but I saw someone say that it it helps stop. <laughs> Most of us have stuff under our bed, right? We just store stuff under there. Stuff gets pushed under there. It is what it is. That's what's happened to us over the years. 
And I told him I wanted to clean out under the bed because it gives <laughs> a better, like, you sleep better and it's like a better energy. And Nate thinks I'm. And it, and it has, it, it does what? It betters your. What? You did. <laughs> your chakras. <laughs> Guys, if you're into that, I'm not. Okay, look, I'm one person in the world. I have an opinion, you have an opinion. Please don't be offended. <laughs> what the hell are you all talking about? <laughs> I'm all like, well, maybe it's true. Ever since, but so we cleaned it out. I've been sleeping real good. That placebo effects are a beautiful thing. <laughs> real conversation. It happened. And then she, then she even said like, yeah, maybe you know, we can get crystals or rub a crystal or something like that. And I'm like, man, I ain't rubbing no damn crystal. It's not <laughs> ridiculous. You can rub a crystal. I'm not rubbing a crystal. You can get into it. I told him, I'm like, you need to be open-minded to things because being vegan, I feel like that's a big part of it too. It's like, you're already going against so many of the norms out there and as soon as you accept it and embrace it and love it, I feel like you actually just do become more open-minded to so many different things. I'm not saying you're gonna get into everything, but you, I don't know, it's like things intrigue me that never really intrigued me before. Right, but I mean, I'm a big science person. Guys, I, I really am. If, if you can prove it in science, it's reality. There is no scientific data <laughs> that says if I rub a crystal, something magical is going to happen to my inner. And there's inner no thing. data that says it doesn't either. It, I don't know. Oh! I think meditation works. Because mm -hmm. it has to do with you, brain chemistry, chemicals in your body, how your body is using those and whatever. So meditation, get it. And if rubbing crystals is your meditation, then call it that. Don't say the crystal itself has magical power. I, I, no one says it has magical power. <laughs> What's a chakra? What's a chakra? I don't want to talk about this. I won't get anything out of it. All I'm saying is just be open-minded. You never know what actually might be something you get something out of. Yes? Right. I get it. You tried to explain it <laughs> as magic crystals. I did not! And you tried to explain it that moving physical things from underneath our bed was going to correct or better our energies 100%. to help us sleep better. I believe it. If that's in your head, that's in your head, but it's not a tangible energy. It's not like a feng shui like I get, I'm, I'm not being offensive I've, I have know feng, <laughs> I'm, I know what feng shui is and facing <laughs> north and whatever I got it it's that's a real thing yeah there is actually like a psychology behind it I agree but it's not magical I didn't call it magical He's so mean. <laughs> How do you mean? <laughs> oh, man. On another note. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. We tried a new uh, restaurant yesterday? Day before? I don't know. So good, you guys. I think it's Which, if you don't follow us on social media, you didn't know till now. <laughs> Is that how YouTubers do it? Is that how YouTubers do it? <laughs> Well, we posted it on the internet and stuff. I just... Oh, my God. If it's news to you... By the way... You're late. <laughs> by the way, Nate, like, is the worst with social media. He really is. Like, he doesn't post. He doesn't do any of that. Yeah, but he noticed that a bunch of you have found him on Instagram. And he went... Random. Yeah. Random people following me. And I'm like, I don't post anything. Why are they following me? Because I love you. And, and it's all you guys. And he's like... He's like been going around the house and he's like, well, what can I show? What can I take a picture of for my people? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I'm about it. I like you guys. I read comments and stuff like that. He does. I'm about it. I know a whole bunch of people like by name and like by your little, little circle pictures. Circle pictures. <laughs> um, but yeah, we went to a sandwich shop that I think is a chain. I think it's actually like 
throughout. It's, it's franchises. Mm -hmm. You can okay. open like a franchise. And it's called Witch Witch. It's super cute. And it's like Witch Sandwich. Which one do you want? Actually, I still have, hold mm -hmm. on. I have my cup still from yesterday and it's that's like the logo of the place. And it was so, so good. And what I loved about it was we actually, okay, so you got the Superfood Witch. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's called the that. Super food wrap. Yeah. Lunch. And it's on my Instagram actually. And then I got just a custom sandwich. My I just put a bunch of stuff on it. But the base of both of ours was this black bean patty. Mm -hmm. And uh it was so good. But I loved that that it wasn't just a veggie sandwich, you know? Right. And they had actually like vegan options, vegan made things, and even the black bean patty was called the vegan black bean patty. Right, and you can get a hot or cold. Mm -hmm. Mine was on the warmer side. It was good, I loved it. And the toppings is endless, like, mm -hmm. puts, and it stuff, yeah. And it was a good sandwich. It was really, really yummy. So if you've ever had it, let us know, like what's your favorite uh, sandwich there and or style, because you can get them a bunch of different ways yeah. too. Share a picture of your bag. Cause like the, I thought that was one of the mm -hmm. coolest parts was mm -hmm. you walked in and just it, the but... wall on the side is just like a whole bunch of numbers. Like lunch bags. And they're like little bags. sub lunch bags and, and you write your name on the top of it. And then it's all these check marks. And just you build your sandwich on it and then you take it up and you hand it to them and they tell you this much and you do it. And then they just put your sandwich in that bag and give it back to you. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Great yeah. ordering system. User friendly. Even the child. Because we took our son. The, the child station to do it too was very interactive for children. Mm -hmm. It was very children friendly. They have a little M&M &M machine for you they get, get a, a token. token. With a kid's oh, meal. Just a great concept of restaurant too. And I liked their, the their lunch kid's meal was great too because the two, it comes in a little dish and it's the sandwich of whatever they pick. And then the sides are apples and carrots. Like how mm -hmm. perfect is that? You yeah. don't see that, at least around here. <laughs> Really good. We will be back for sure. No? Mm hmm Go nuts. I don't feel like it saves very well for, um, you know, Next a long day. time. But like I said, if you do let it sit for a little while, it is actually good that way. All right. Shall we wrap this up? I'm not done. I guess I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that one time of I thought. Let him share the story of IHOP. This I'm was sorry. like high school. <laughs> I used to eat the most horrible quantities of food. He was the guy, he has pictures up on the wall. <laughs> on the walls. <laughs> of uh, at restaurants. Food uh, challenges. Food challenges. So I went to IHOP, right? Because they did the all you can eat pancakes. I can eat pancakes, guys. Like, I can so get down. Pancakes is one of my favorite things of all time. So we go to IHOP, right? <laughs> I think I went with a few football guys. So we're sitting there and you know, they bring out the first plate and then you get the meal plus the thing. So then they bring you the first plate of pancakes, which is three pancakes. Which is more than enough. So I eat those, right? And it's literally like, I'm I'm on like the last like three or four bites and it's a, hey, can I, can I get a, more pancakes? Lady very nicely, very nicely. Yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> Runs back there, comes back a few minutes later, gives me a plate of two pancakes and I was like, Two pancakes, huh? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I got three on the first. Uh, all right, cool. So I'm going. The next time she walked around, like literally, she walked away, got someone some water, walking back, and I was like, "Ma'am, um, can you another plate of pancakes here?" And she goes, "She goes, she goes, sure, no problem." Demeanor, <laughs> demeanor, demeanor changed change. just a little bit. <laughs> Again, so this process keeps going, and it's the same declining scale of her enthusiasm from waiting on me. I was about on, uh, I was about on plate probably like nine or 10, <laughs> no joke, <laughs> nine or 10. She drops them off and she doesn't even say, she didn't even acknowledge I exist anymore. She just drops the plate, turns and walks. I was like, whatever, cool. So I eat those pancakes and I decide, hey, I want one more. I want <laughs> one more plate. This is my internal thing. Didn't say it out loud. Didn't be like, I only want one more. Just kept it to myself, thought, okay, it'll be all right. Oh my God. I'll let her know, you know, when she gets back. Dodges my table, <laughs> dodges my table. I would have had to, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. That's how far she stayed away from my table so that she didn't have to give me another plate of pancakes. I don't know if her manager told her to. 
I don't know if she made the personal decision to cut me <laughs> off, like she was a bartender doing a responsible thing. I have no idea, but she just dodged it. And I sat there, guys. I sat there for like a solid five minutes with no water, empty plate in front of me. Whatever will you do? <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, and I'm not. I'm not a jerk when I go to restaurants at all. I'll never. I'll never be mean to a waiter. Ever. And I'm just sitting there, sitting there, and she dodged me. I'm watching her. She's walking around, taking care of everything, and like the moment she has to walk by us, she darts the other way, goes all the way around and comes back. So finally, after like five, ten minutes of me just sitting there, I was just like, all right, she cut me off. <laughs> Nate I, got I, cut I, off at the unlimited pancake <laughs> menu. I, I got cut off at all you can eat pancakes. <laughs> Moral of the story. <laughs> yep. Everyone, let's hang our heads in shame. Hey man, I didn't get to 330 pounds by not eating 20 pancakes. That was the heaviest. Yep, heaviest, heaviest I ever saw on a scale was 336. Yeah. Gross. That was actually back when we like got married around that time. Yeah, uh, my heaviest was about a year after we were married. It was gr looking back on pictures. It was. Gross. I don't think it was gross at all. I just it's so funny we have looked back on pictures and I was like, wow, I just don't Duh. remember. <laughs> and it's that too, it's Duh. I don't remember you even like ever looking mm -hmm. like that. Like I just don't remember it. You I don't, don't see I, it then. You know? I remember uh looking back and seeing like an old, old picture. I think it was a picture at work or something like that. And I was like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. I was like, why didn't and I you would with, tell me. Uh, yeah, I was like actually a little mad <laughs> at, at my coworkers who were who are my very good friends in real life. I remember looking at them and be like, why did no one say anything like this Because you would have bit them for the unlimited pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> but we did. We got you an intervention. Vegan. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can eat as much of this as I really want. That's right. Which I'm going to continue to do. Which I'm going to keep eating. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up. No thumbs downs. I see you. Boo! <laughs> 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 But I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we will see you very, very soon. In fact, I think maybe I will do, we're talking about breakfast, that I'll do maybe some pumpkin pancakes. With me? <laughs> Not unlimited, though. <laughs> she said that. She said that, like, tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> we can do that Friday, and you can be up next week. This is my manager. He tells me when I'm going to put my videos up. <laughs> Got it. I don't, but when it comes to pumpkin pancakes, I put my fist down. Did you hear it? It was that. <laughs> there, it was down. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're going we're gonna to core that shit. Looks like a brain. It does. This can get put away. Yes, baby. But what kind of almonds did you really want to add to it? <laughs> you wanted sliced almonds, but she asked for slivers and then yelled at me in the car for following her direction. <laughs> Our legs won't fit here. Okay, you're gonna be fine. Nate's removing my cabinet <laughs> so he can sit here. <laughs> here, move, move that in. Are you serious? I don't have to tell you if I'm serious or not. I'm a man, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> this is the shit now. You're just crunching away. My misophonia is going out the freaking roof right now. I got ten more minutes before I gotta get ready to work. <laughs> My God.